Maganism Spanish, Maganismo is an anarchist, or more precisely anarcho-communist, school of thought precursor of the Mexican Revolution of 1910. It is mainly based on the ideas of Ricardo Flores Magan, his brothers Enrique and Jesus, and also other collaborators of the Mexican newspaper Regeneración organ of the Mexican Liberal Party, as Praxis Guerrero, Labrado Rivera and Anselmo L. Figueroa. Maganism and anarchism The Mexican government and the press of the early 20th century called as Maganistas people and groups who shared the ideas of the Flores Magan brothers, who inspired the overthrow of the dictatorship of Porfirio Díaz and performed an economic and political revolution. The fight against tyranny encouraged by the Flores Magan contravened official discourse of Porfirian peace by which the protesters were rated as the revoltosos maganistas i.e. Maganist rioters to isolate any social basis and preserve the image of peace and progress imposed by force. Both of Flores Magan's brothers, like other members of the Mexican Liberal Party, PLM, used the term Maganista to refer to the libertarian movement that promoted, as they felt they were fighting for an ideal and not to elevate in power to a boss or a group, they called themselves liberals as they were organized in the PLM, and later, "...anarchists". The same Ricardo Flores Magan affirmed, Liberal Party members are not Maganistas, they are anarchists. In his literary work Verdugos y Victimas i.e., "...executioners and victims", one of the characters responds indignantly when he was arrested and judged, I'm not a Maganist, I am an anarchist. An anarchist has no idols. Maganist thinking was influenced by anarchist philosophers such as Mikhail Bakunin and Pierre Joseph Proudhon, and others such as Elise Recluse, Charles Mulatto, Errico Malatesta, Anselmo Lorenzo, Emma Goldman, Fernando Torita del Marmol, and Max Stirner. They were also influenced by the works of Marx, Gorky, and Ibsen. However, the most influential works were the ones of Peter Kropotkin The Conquest of Bread and Mutual Aid, a factor of evolution, at the same time they were influenced by the Mexican liberal tradition of the 19th century and the self-government system of the indigenous people. <laughs> Maganism and indigenous movement Indigenous peoples, since the Spanish conquest of Mexico, searched to preserve the practice of direct democracy, decision-making in assembly, rotation of administrative charges, the defense of communal property, mutual aid as the community exploitation and rational use of natural resources, shared anarchist principles raised by the Maganists. The direct influence of indigenous thought in Maganism were the teachings of Teodoro Flores, Mestizo Hua, father of the Flores Magan brothers, and the coexistence of other members of the PLM with indigenous groups during periods of organization and insurrection of PLM, between 1905 and 1910, such as the Papaluca in Veracruz, the Yaqui and Mayo in Sonora, and the Cocopa in Baja California. Fernando Palomares, a Mayo indigenous, was one of the most active members of the Liberal Party who took part in the Cananea strike and libertarian campaign of 1911 in Mexicali and Tijuana. <laughs> Legacy After the end of the armed phase of Mexican Revolution, and after the death of Ricardo Flores Magan in 1922, began the rescue of Maganist thought, mainly due to trade unionists in Mexico and the United States. In the post-revolutionary Mexico, the figures of Flores Magan brothers was recollected by governments, considering them precursors of the revolution. 
both the insurrection of 1910 as social rights enshrined in the Mexican Constitution of 1917 was due largely to the Maganistas, which since 1906 took up arms and drafted an economic and social program. However, although the demands that led to the revolution in theory were resolved in the Constitution and in the speeches of the revolutionary governments, there was no significant change in the lives of the most vulnerable populations. Also the Maganistas considered not fighting to change the administrators of the state, but to abolish them. For this reason, the survived Maganistas continued to spread anarchist propaganda. Labrado Rivera was persecuted and imprisoned during the government of Plutarco Elias Cales and Enrique Flores Magan, who believed that the Mexican social revolution is not yet over, could enjoy security until the presidency of Lázaro Cárdenas. The Mexican Anarchist Federation, founded in 1941 and active for about 40 years, edited the newspaper Regeneración and spread Maganist thought. In the 1980s Maganism survived among some youth anarcho-punk groups. The Biblioteca Social Reconstruir, founded in 1980 by the Spanish anarchist in exile Ricardo Mestra and located in Mexico City, was a library where to find anarchist literature and works on Ricardo Flores Magan or copies of Regeneración. In 1994, when the Zapatista Army of National Liberation EZLN took up arms in Chiapas, claimed the ideas of the Flores Magan brothers. In 1997, indigenous organizations, social groups of libertarians and municipal councils of the state of Oaxaca, declared the "'Citizen Year of Ricardo Flores Magan' from 21 November 1997 to 16 September 1998, in August 2000, driven by indigenous organizations in the state of Oaxaca and libertarian groups in Mexico City, the Maganistas Days Jornadas Maganistas were held for the 100 years of the founding of the newspaper Regeneración. In the popular uprising of Oaxaca of 2006, took part organizations and youth groups also influenced by anarchist Maganistas ideals. Literature Ruben Trejo, Maganismo, Utopia y Revolución, 1910–1913, 2005, Cultura Libre, ISBN 970-9815-008 M. Ballesteros, J. C. Bs, B. Maldonado, Maganismo y Movimiento Indígena en México 2003, CEACATLAC equals equals see also